Hey Lindsay, I'm feeling naked. What? You have what? No, I'm feeling naked. Like the Why? camp the camper's not on the truck. Oh, yep, yeah, it's off. We arrived at a campground outside of Greenville, Virginia, and we decided that this was a perfect place for us to be able to go check out the Shenandoah um, mountains as well as Skyline Blue Drive. Yep, we're gonna yep. do Skyline Drive. We looked on a, on a map, and I'll show you that on a map. And it is what I call squiggly. It is very squiggly, which means the truck and the camper don't go on squiggly lines unless they have to. But we didn't want to pass up Skyline Drive, even though I believe the leaves are pretty much yeah. peaked and come and gone. We've but, missed the colors here. But the good news is we got the colors in New York and in Pennsylvania. And the other good news is that Lindsay loves waterfalls. So Lindsay has mapped out a course of waterfalls for us. And uh, it'll take all day. So this could be a really long drive for us. Where we are is at the very bottom part of the um, Skyline Drive. Mm -hmm. And we're planning on driving up as far as we feel like it. And then cutting over to 81 and coming back south. Uh -huh. The minimum amount of drive time is going to be four and a half hours. Drive time. Yeah, that's his drive time without add, hiking. Add another hour and a half if we go all the way up to the top, which I don't think we will do. No. Um, because that's a really long day. And because we are not morning people, the sun is out. <laughs> I had a plan to get us out and on the road before the sun came up, so we'd hit the Shenandoah uh, Mountains right when the sun was coming up. But that, that was an hour ago. Yeah, we didn't make it. We're going to be staying here for three days, so those three nights have paid for our Passport America membership. You should check out, if you don't already know about them, check out the link in the description about how we save a bunch of money camping through Harvest Host and Passport America and other ways. And of course, we appreciate you if you buy your Passport, membership, Passport America membership through our links. That helps us out as well. We're trying to show you how we live while we do some fun things, but also how we stay on the cheap while we're doing it. We are still under budget, which is great. On that note, good. let us drink our hot coffee yes. and let us get on the road. We're a good 45 minutes from our first stop. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Peace. Hey, Lindsay, I've, I'm, I'm not at this point very often in my life where I don't know whether to go left or to go right. <laughs> if we go left, we go on the Blue Ridge Parkway. If we go right, we go on the Skyline Drive. Yeah. Blue Ridge or Shenandoah? Shenandoah. Shenandoah. All right, let's do Shenandoah today and Blue Ridge tomorrow. How about yeah. that? Perfect. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Let's see the Skyline Drive. Can't see anything. There's a view there, but you can't see it. Oh, it's the highway. <laughs> what can you see, Lindsay? What can you see? I can only see the highway and fog. I see fog. And a black bear, did you see it? Whoa! Did you see the black bear? That's right, I, there's a black bear. I guess you'll never know if we saw a black bear or not because you can't see anything because the fog. <laughs> it's a Loch Ness Monster! What's it doing out here? Deer. Deer. What's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. So far, it's been beautiful, um, nice smooth road, a little bit of uphill. We probably could have made the camper so far, um, but a whole lot of fog, lots and lots of fog. And it's starting to lift now. The fog makes this look like uh, like it's an ocean and the mountains are islands that are just sticking up out of the ocean. It's kind of neat to see it this way. Hey Lindsay, you know what colors I'm seeing? Brown. 
Doo-doo brown. Doo-doo brown. But you know what? Doo-doo brown has never looked so beautiful. We are currently at the start of Doyle's River Falls Trail. It's a 3.4 mile out and back. It's dog friendly, so we are going to take the pups and hopefully see a really pretty waterfall at the end. Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. That was a fun hike. Oh man. I kicked my butt coming up and it was awesome. 50% of it, it's a good news, 50% of it's downhill. Yeah. The other 50% is uphill. <laughs> so that's right. good. 50% that's uphill is the last 50% on the way back. Yeah, but those waterfalls, totally worth it. Especially the second one. If you say so. Mm-hmm. You say so. All of us are whooped. Yeah, and the dogs are out. I think they're already asleep. <laughs> Sun came out, it got nice and hot. Yeah. And uh, we're sweating now. Oof. We're gonna carry on through Shenandoah. Skyline Drive. Yeah, Skyline. And uh, our friends from Baja are in the same park as us. Yeah. Which is crazy. This is exciting, um, so hopefully we'll meet up with them. We see them. That'll be awesome. Eating our PB&Js. Because we like them, not because we're cheap. Mm, both. We're cheap and we like them, so it works out really well. Mm -hmm. If we could eat ramen noodles, that would be the best way to, to stay on budget. No. Lindsay doesn't let me eat ramen. No. She didn't know me back in college. <laughs> you don't even cook them when you're in college. You just eat them right out of the Yeah, that's what you do. No. Ten cents a pop. Oh. I we going to get back on the road. We met up with our friends, Scott and Melissa, and their boys. Um, we spent, gosh, almost three months, most of the time in Baja with them. Yeah. Like, just bouncing back and forth, beach to beach, sure and did. catching up. All that's in our season two videos. Um, but we met up with them. They've been in Oregon when COVID happened. They locked down with family in Oregon. And then I guess about two or three months ago, started out on the road with a new travel trailer. And uh, they've been traveling the Northeast, and we decided we'd meet up. Didn't Finally meet do. up until Virginia. Yep. So we're gonna go hang out with them, do one more waterfall hike, and uh, see what else there is to do. Oh, I'm exhausted. My legs are like jello. Like jello? <sighs> jello. Oh, they're jiggly. Mm. You look like you're in a Chick-fil-A. How Chick -fil -A, many miles did we hike Chick -fil -A today? Chick-fil-A coma. I am. I am in a Chick-fil-A coma. We only hiked four miles. We did more than that. It was just 50% uphill. It was four miles this morning. And then add another mile and a half. Oh my gosh. That's so much. Five and a half miles. Oh my gosh. Most of it uphill. Both ways. In the snow. <laughs> In the snow. We saw the Shenandoah Drive. I even forgot the name of it. Skyline Drive. Skyline Drive, Drive yeah. Yeah, so we did that and um, the colors were not spectacular, but I can see how when the colors are popping, that's probably like a roller coaster ride. You just like drive your car up there and, and connect with uh, 100,000 other cars and everybody just goes like five miles an hour through the mountains because it would be spectacular with, mm -hmm. with the leaves changing colors or even in the summer with the leaves green. But they're duty brown today. <laughs> Don't say Various that. shades of duty brown. <laughs> They're mostly du brown. It was it was duty brown. <laughs> anyway, um, so it wasn't it wasn't all that pretty, but the hikes were great. The, I mean, the waterfalls are beautiful, mm -hmm. and hiking is always awesome. It's always fun. It's always fun. It's always good. We got to take the dogs out for a good little hike. But man, am I tired? So tomorrow, instead of hiking, I'm going to be driving. That's my job. I'm gonna drive. No, we're going to Crabtree Falls. Crabtree. Crabtree. 
Crab tree or crab tree? Crab tree. Okay, so the plan is crab we're going to disconnect <laughs> in a brief moment and then we're going to wake up in the morning and we're going to go to Blue Ridge Parkway mm -hmm. to Crab Tree Falls. And then we don't really know what else we're going to do, but it's not going to be as late as it is today. It's 821. So we've been out mm -hmm. for almost 12 hours. And a lot of that's been outdoors hiking and exploring. Mm -hmm. And uh, we drove like 160 miles and seeing friends. We drove 160 miles? Yeah, we drove freaking 160 miles. Wow. Yeah, I filled up on gas when we left, set the odometer, and it's 160 miles. Wow. Yep. So we covered some ground today. All around, great area to explore. I'm tired. I'm beat. I don't even want to think of exploring anymore. So we will see you in the morning. Today is a new double dog day. Double dog day? Yeah, double dog. There's one dog and then the other one's down there. <laughs> That's a double dog day. Today is a new double dog day. Okay. And we're going to go out to where? Crab Tree Falls. Crab Tree Falls. Crab. Like the tree craps. No, crab tree. Crab tree, not crap tree. Crab. Crab. So they got little crab claw things. I don't know. We'll see when we get we'll there. We'll see when we get there. You'll see when we get there. It is on the Blue Ridge Parkway or connected to the Blue Ridge Parkway way up here in the northern part of the parkway in Virginia. So we're going to go check that out and uh, maybe drive around the parkway a little bit. The leaves are duty brown, um, so that takes a little bit of excitement out of driving the curvy, twisty roads. It's but so pretty. Since we are light without the camper on, it doesn't hurt us too much to go drive around. So we'll see what happens. Right, Evie? They're ready to hike. Got your game face on? and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand that was the most stupid, ridiculous drive ever. See, Google doesn't even think we're here yet. Yeah, that was a crazy road to get to this waterfall. I don't know how people do it in their RVs. That was nuts. I think what happens is they're going to give us gold nuggets when we go to the waterfall. Hopefully. Because we survived that drive. Hopefully. So we're going to go hike. The dogs are excited. Well, they don't even know what's going on. Mm, yeah. I'm going to get my money's worth out of this because that was harrowing. Without the camper, I mean, with the camper, we, we wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to do it. We, we would not have made it. And we wouldn't have been able to even turn around on that road. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was the twists crazy. and the turns and the road was narrow when you're on the side of a cliff. And... Woo! So if this falls is worth it, keep that in mind with you and your RV that uh, there there's some risks to take. But we'll go, uh, we'll go, let's go check it out. How about that? How about that, Huck? What do you think? He was ready to go. So it says the lower one is 500 feet away. And then the upper one is a mile and a quarter. I like the lower so. one. Let's just do the lower <laughs> one. A little graveyard there. Wow. Oh yeah, I see it right there. Five hundred feet. Appalachian Trail. Wow, this is a big waterfall. Look how high it goes. There's way that hook up there. So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get 
After driving the Blue Ridge Parkway for, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, it was nice. Um, colors are pretty much gone, but we were on our way north back to the campground and we were like, what is that Steel's Tavern place? It has a cool name. So Lindsay looked up the history, a lot of history, yeah. like the, uh, the Reaper. The Reaper and the sewing machine were both invented here within a couple years of each other, which is pretty significant in the history of the industrial United States. But what is also here is apparently what they call it the best dang barbecue in Virginia. In Virginia. So we're at Smiley's, home of the best dang barbecue. Smiley's is a truck stop. <laughs> this will be interesting. <laughs> but it's very reasonably priced. I think it was $8.99 for a brisket sandwich. With a side. With a side. Mm -hmm which is not a bad deal at all. So we're gonna go check out the brisket sandwiches and of course, let you know how they go. I'm looking forward to it. Lindsay loves her brisket. I love food. Yeah. We have not had barbecue. We definitely have not had barbecue in Virginia. So I don't know if this is the best dang barbecue in Virginia, but it's gonna be our only dang barbecue in Virginia. <laughs> I tell you what, Lindsay, that was the best darn barbecue in a truck stop in Virginia that I've yeah. ever had. Yep. It was pretty, pretty, no, we've Decent. never had barbecue at a truck stop. No, no, you haven't. It's, yeah. the best. it's the best that you've had. Definitely the best. Nothing to write home about, but definitely worth putting in a YouTube yeah. video. It was a good brisket. It was tender. And it was gone. And it was gone. We that was a mighty fine time exploring the mountains of Virginia. Perfect place to be situated where you can go um, up into the Shenandoah or through the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yep, right in the middle. Right in the middle. It's a great place to be. Put it on the map for you. Um, of course, it is a great time to be here a little bit earlier with the fall colors. You'd probably have the crowds then. But summer here, I think, is spectacular as well. Oh, yeah. We've Definitely. been to these mountains in the summer in North Carolina, and uh, the greens are amazing. Plus, you can enjoy the waterfalls swimming in them and the rivers and creeks and all that stuff. So. We are done with the Shenandoah Valley and with Blue Ridge Parkway, and now it is time for us to end this episode. Sad time. Mm -hmm. It's always a sad time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to be a part of our journey. We do appreciate it. If you like this video, please like the button at the bottom. Don't like the button, press the like button. <laughs> I mean, you can like the button too. That's between you and YouTube and your yeah. personal preferences. But if you have any questions, comments, Positive comments, please send them our way. We will respond to each and every one, unless they're negative, in which case I will delete it because that's what I or love. Or respond to sarcastically. Do. Or I will respond sarcastically. And if I've hurt your feelings because you hurt my feelings, we'll just agree to hurt each other's feelings no more. <laughs> Thanks again for being a part of our journey. Subscribe if you have not already done so, and we will check you out in the next episode, which is coming to you right about 